Now, local SWAT teams train twice a month to handle all types of emergencies, including hostage situations. So what goes through the mind of a SWAT team member on the scene and how does training compare to real life? Well, SNN Local News 6 reporter Mia McCormick is live from the TJ Maxx where the situation unfolded last night. She joins us now with more on this. Mia. SWAT teams from the Sheriff's Office and the Police Department worked together to defuse an emergency situation right here last night. Sarasota SWAT teams spend hours in training to deal with situations just like the one that happened at a Venice TJ Maxx Tuesday night. But training and the real deal are very different. Well, there's lots of variables. There could be more hostages than what expected. There could be more um, so perpetrators than what's expected. The initial intel that we originally get might be flawed or just not any of it. Outfitted with armored vehicles, bulletproof vests, and helmets, SWAT team members must assess the situation as it happens, knowing that inside anything can be happening. We can only react to what the perpetrator is doing. We really can't make him do anything. Entering a situation you have no control over keeps everyone on their toes. Overcoming the adrenaline to keep an alert eye and steady hand are a must. Lieutenant Stand Baseline says each team member faces a number of what if factors and must be prepared to handle any of them. What if, if my partner gets shot, what's my job then to do? What if he takes and he runs, do I chase or is the perimeter guy going to pick him up? So it's constantly you're just reacting and thinking, playing a what if game. In this case, the gunmen were gone before authorities arrived on scene, but no one, including the hostages, knew. Another obstacle could be coordinating with other agencies. Sarasota police had 14 SWAT members assisting the sheriff's office Tuesday night. In an emergency, there is no time for communication failure. The uh, real thing last night went outstanding. It went very much by the book. Lieutenant Baseline attributes the smooth operation to training and great supervision by the sheriff's office. TJ Maxx did release this statement today. As a result of this attempted armed robbery last night, one of our associates was taken to the hospital for precautionary measures and is thankfully has been released. We're relieved that none of our other associates or customers who were restrained last night were physically harmed. At this time, we have a support team at our store to offer assistance to our associates, and we are cooperating fully with law enforcement. Live in Venice, Mia McCormick, SNN Local News 6. All right, Mia, thanks for that report. Part of our team coverage tonight on the situation in Venice. Thanks, Mia.